Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I thought I'd share with you guys a 2-in-1, showing you how you can get these stunning iOS widgets on your Android devices, and also share this aesthetic home screen setup that's put together using these iOS style widgets. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So with this quick guide, we're going to take your Android home screen setups to another level with an iOS inspired theme. Made up of these amazing widgets, all from the app promptly named iOS Widgets, which brings with it stylized interactive widgets, perfect for those of you who want a modern look without going through the effort of using KWGT. Now looking at this home screen setup, starting right at the top, we have a storage level indicator accompanied by the iconic iOS clock, both of which are non-interactive, your standard old school widgets. Next up, our home screen calendar, which you can link directly to your calendar app. So anytime you tap on it, it will take you straight into the app. And the same exact thing applies to this music indicator. One tap and you're straight into your music player. Now additionally, this app also brings with it some more advanced level widgets, such as the battery widget, which gives you quick access to your battery information, as well as the shortcut setting tile, which gives you the ability to toggle on and off your phone settings. Now of course, some of the other widgets here are quite self-explanatory, such as this one with our most used Google Apps. So let's skip over these and look at the next standout feature of the app. And no it isn't that moon phase indicator or even that quick dial panel for four of our contacts. It's actually how you can manage your apps using the widgets. Now I'm not just talking about the app grouping tile but also these photo frame widgets. Each one of which can be programmed to open a specific app. So now instead of using those boring app icons you can use your own custom images. Now the setup process for all of these widgets are near enough the same. Just simply long press anywhere on your home screen and head into your widgets list. Here we're looking for the iOS widget section. This is where you're going to find every single one of those home screen widgets that I used, including a couple premium options. Now loading any one to your home screen will bring up its customization screen which will be different depending on the widget. Now at this point, feel free to play around with its settings until you get to a look that you're happy with. However, whenever you come across this option to link to an application, make sure to give it 10 to 15 seconds to load up the menu. And once done, depending on your home screen launcher, you can even resize the widget to as big or as small as you want. Now as a final tip, make sure to also remove the app from your phone's battery optimization list. Otherwise, the widgets may become frozen. Now, for those of you who want to recreate my home screen setup, I'm going to leave a link for my Nova Launcher backup, the icon packs that I used, as well as this awesome wallpaper, all in the video description below. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.